Hi, happy Manga Monday. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Manga Spice Cafe box. I already opened it as a little bit or as much as I could. That way I wouldn't struggle bus trying to open it anymore. This is box 64. So the little preview that they sent out before was saying this is supposed to be like some kind of like world's end box or like post-apocalyptic box is what my understanding was. This little packet tells you about the authors, the stories, the artists. It also tells you about the food that you get and gives you the upcoming month, like what it's going to be. Now I'm a big Inuyasha fan and this is like the next story to the series basically. So it's about like everybody's kids from the Inuyasha series. I've watched a little bit of the anime, but not a whole lot, like maybe three episodes and that's it. So that's going to be in the next box. So it's telling you what's going to be there. So shows you all the food, chips, a drink. I don't know. There's some other stuff in here. I'm not going to do a food test on this video. I will do a completely separate video where I do a food test. They always send you chopsticks, which is really nice. I do think they send you a decent amount of food. The box itself is about $39, $38, but with shipping and handling, it comes out to be about $43, $44 total, which isn't terrible considering the snacks that you get and then the books that you get. All right, so this is, oh, they're all wrapped. So what is this? This says Living Stone. I've actually not, seen nor heard of this it says every soul has a plan but if you stray from your destined path your soul stone called a cyclist becomes tainted and shatters bringing misfortune to all that encounter it the mission of the uptight sakura and the free-spirited amano agents of the company called living stone is to find souls in danger of straying and keep them pure. If your life seems to be flying off the rails and everything just seems wrong, you'd better hope this odd couple finds you in time to put events back on course, because if it's too late, they might just have to help you along on your journey to the next life. So that sounds interesting. They're trying to keep your soul pure. This is a really interesting, as soon as I touched it, it's different because it's not a glossy color. It's a cover, like the cover isn't glossy. It's actually like a really cool matte type feel to it. So let's see the artwork. What is that? Oh, he got clothes on. I thought he was naked for a second. but was gonna be like, oh no. Okay. So obviously I have not read this. So I don't know if this is mature for younger audiences or not, but the artwork looks pretty nice. The concept sounds interesting. So I look forward to reading that and seeing what that's all about. The other two are in a combined bag. So Crazy Food Truck is the one in the previous box they said was going to be in this box. So I already knew Crazy Food Truck was going to be here. And it says Gordon is a gruff mid-aged, middle-aged cook running a food truck in a sand-covered wasteland when he encounters Arissa, a naked girl sleeping in the middle of nowhere. He takes on the unintended traveling companion on her unexpected appetite and her unexpected appetite. Too bad she also has unexpected baggage. An armed militia hot on her tail. Fasten your seatbelts for post-apocalyptic cooking and violent mayhem on this crazy food truck road trip. Let's look at the art. Again, I have not read this. Ooh. Okay, so there's like giant creatures as well. That's cool. I have not read this. I haven't really looked into it. The only reason 
I had heard of the name before is because I knew it was going to be coming in this box. And I really enjoy post-apocalyptic books. I enjoy dystopian books. I find that genre very interesting. So this should be right up my alley. This book is normally $13 and this one is usually $11. All right, so this is Blue Lock. I don't necessarily read a lot of sport manga or webtoons, but I do enjoy them. It actually is really nice. I, I enjoy sports romance, whether it's yaoi or just like the traditional boy and girl. I do like a good sports romance because it's not all about the romance. It's usually a nice combination and it shows you the passion and the drive people have towards their love of sports and how that kind of fits in with their love life as well. But I, the cover looks familiar, but I have not read this series either. So some of the reviews say an, out, an absolutely gripping storyline, turning a simple game of soccer into a pulse pounding face off full of tension and drama. This is the sports manga cranked up to 11, virtually flawless. Are you the world's top ego egotist, egos, ooh, egoist? I can't say that word. <laughs> After a disastrous defeat at the 2018 World Cup, Japan's, team Japan's team struggles to regroup. But what's missing? An absolute ace striker. The football union, which that means soccer, football means soccer. Um, the football union is hell bent on creating a striker who hungers for goals and thirst for victory. So Blue Lock, a rigorous training ground for 300 of Japan's best and brightest youth players is created. To survive this battle royale, the last striker standing will have to out muscle and out ego everyone who stands in his way. The twisted soccer sensation finally comes to print. All right, so let's look at some of the art. A nice color page in the very beginning. Someone who looks absolutely insane. Again, I have never heard of this before. I don't know how this is going to turn out. I don't know if people who get dropped from the team actually end up dying or if they kill them off. I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea what this is going to be about, except that it's about soccer. So I will have to let everyone know how this turns out in the end. I like the artwork though. The artwork is really nice. It's not like really old school. I don't consider it to be like super cartoonish looking. I think it has a really nice look to it. So it should be an interesting read. I really appreciate you guys watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll let you guys know what I think once I actually get around to reading these. Bye everyone.